It's been a while since I reviewed a wrestling show, and I tell you what, I tell you what, I'm glad. I'm glad to be back. JK, but you know what? Of all the shows to come back to, I think a nice wee cushy two-hour edition of NXT is exactly what we wanted. Not yesterday where you've got three hours of Monday Night Raw, but what's similar between NXT and Monday Night Raw? You get a lot of the judgement day, and I'll say this, I don't mind Dominic, but I hate Rhea Ripley. Welcome back guys to Fog Wrestling, we're here to review WWE NXT, 15th of August edition, um, with some title matches, with some decent stuff, with some bad stuff, let's talk about it. Yeah, alright, <laughs> so here we go, uh, we have NXT tag titles kicking off the show, we've got the Diad taking on the family, it's a fun match, and I actually quite enjoyed the ending to it where... Um, Ivy Neal, I believe her name is, she is like four foot nothing, man, probably three foot nine or something, right? So she comes out, the schism get distracted by this, they go and confront her, but then the other two guys at the back of the schism actually attack the Diads, and uh, yeah, I think this is quite, I think this must be the Creed Brothers, I've, I look, the moves they were doing looked like the Creed Brothers, and uh, yeah, the family win, I actually thought this was quite a, you know, I thought this was quite a interesting, uh, we finish, you know, we've kind of seen similar stuff, but I like the fact that they blend in with the schism and then they, like, they actually attack these guys and the schism are like, whoa, what's going on here? What is going on? We didn't sign up for this, brother. We did not sign up for this. So Tony D and Stax are celebrating. We then have a vignette from Eddie Forp. Um, he can't wait to move in the ring. He can't wait to feel the energy of the crowd. I'm ready. I'm ready to face D-Jack again. What? Um, Camille Hayes is backstage. Um, looks like it's going to be him. Taking on either Wesley or D-Jack tonight. Because there is a number one contendership match. Hmm. Midget Wesley or Big D-Jack who looks like a star. I wonder who NXT are going to have win that match to face Carmelo Hayes for the title. Because of course it will be at Heatwave. Which was next week I believe. And up next we have one of the sloppiest matches I've seen this year. I'm being brutally honest. We have Blair Devonport taking on Dana Brooke in this match man. There was an instance where Dana Brooke went outside. She wanted to grab the ring belt, obviously to batter Blair Devonport's like cooping in with, right? And I and I kid you not, the they tried like this roll up, but well, it wasn't necessarily the finish, but they tried a roll up, and it was and then after it, the the punches, man, the roll up was sloppy, the punches were sloppy, everything about this match was sloppy. Dana Brooke does not work, man. Why are we getting somebody right who just it's never been good. Why are we bringing her down to the... Oh, it's not developmental. It's the third brand. All right, third brand. Whatever you guys want to call it, right? Point is, it's the third brand with all the youngsters on it who, you know, it should be there. To, I, I have no problem, like, with Corbin, right? Even though Corbin's kind of stayed as welcome and doubt I'd be, I'd say, and to be honest, if they were released, I wouldn't really mind, but he's actually doing some of the best work doing NXT, right? That is on the show. Dana Brooke... The same cannot be said for Dana Brooke. She sucks, right? And this match sucked. And Jesus, man. Just get, get off my TV screen, man. It's like look, looking at like 100, 100 layers of plastic. Come on, damn it. But Blair Devonport um, wins this match. So obviously, but she's got a bit of beef with Jordan. Because she's like, you can't hit her. You can't hit her with the ring bell. No. You can't do it. You can't do it. Damon Kemp, Charlie Dempsey and Drew Gulak are backstage. Trick Williams is warming up. Oh, what's going on here? Who knows? Maybe we'll find out a wee bit later on. We then cut back through the break. Um, Carmelo Hayes now just speaks about D-Jack because, yeah, earlier on he spoke about Wesley and, you know, it was Wesley's time earlier and now it's D-Jack's time today, brother. Uh, up next we have Trick Williams taking on Drew Gulak. I like Trick Williams. I'm glad he won this match because if you lose to Drew Gulak, I think serious questions. I've got to be asked about where your career is going, but thankfully, no questions have to be asked, because big tricky boy. He didn't make this one tricky. He put it into the back of the net, and he has won. He has won this match, and uh, I wonder if we're going to get a Trick Williams heel turn on Carmelo Hayes. I think we could get something along those lines, which I think would be uh, slightly interesting, slightly interesting troops. Uh, after the match, though, he stands tall. Baron Corbin is seen walking backstage. He's going to go to the ring to say what he needs to say. So, hmm, what's going to happen here for Baron Corbin? He's in the ring. Um, he says, 
He wants to batter somebody. He's like, the locker room is full of soft little bitches. Out comes Mr. Stone and Fawn Wagner. And this is going to be your match at Heatwave. Oh, yeah. I'm so excited for this. But Corbin buries him. He's like, you need to talk in this business because if you can't talk, you're going to be out here with a security logo written on your chest because you're just a bum. You ain't a mean offender like Big Bear and Corbin. And then Fawn Wagner grabs the mic and says, yeah, I don't talk too much on the mic. But you, you talk too much. You never shut up because you talk too much. You never shut up. Da, 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 da. Of course, like the wee, uh, the wee Botchamania promo. Remember that guy did Botchamania? I remember he appeared on like uh, Cultaholic or Walt Culture back and he, he's just a scrawny looking wee bastard, him. Kind of, I know we're getting sidetracked here, but he looks like uh, the guy from Breaking Bad. Full pound of the blue stuff. Down, 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 down. I don't fool pounds of the blue stuff. You don't think you never figure out how to think. What the hell is wrong with you? You need me more and I need you. Pop, 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 blah, blah, blah. Anyway, enough of the Breaking Bad remix. Uh, so these two are going to have a match. Whoop they do. Let them fight, man. And funny enough, the security did break them up, which I thought was kind of funny. Backstage, though, we have North American champion Dominic Mysterio with Rhea Ripley. And uh, yeah, oh, we're going to batter Dragon Lee and La Falkyrie next week. Uh, La Falkyrie and Dragon Lee have a segment. She's like, we need to be on the same page. We need to be close. Dragon Lee's like, oh, tranquila. I'm a taking man, I see. I'm not going to, you're not, your foot, your foot legs, baby. I'm not going to trick me, amigo. And he's like, oh, no, no, we, we work together in the ring, in the ring, amigo. And he's like, all right, all right. Oh, see, sí, taco, taco Tuesday. He was actually talking about tacos, so no real idea what the fuck was going on at this point. But anyway, there was a nice wee segment here, but Rhea Ripley, I'm sick of seeing her on the screen. And you know what? I seen a shortly over there about Rhea Ripley's evolution. Um, like from like 2015 up until um now and the gothic evolution, man. Like, what is what what's going on there? Why why does Rhea Ripley, why is Rhea Ripley honestly Went from looking great to looking like this. Oh, but she looks better now. Ah. No, 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 have um, it. Number one contenders match with Leslie taking on G Jack. We go um, out here and we have got before we sorry before we get this we have a vignette from Star Valley. He's gonna be he's gonna be the next North American champion, brother. Um, so yeah, D Jack taking on Leslie. And what I don't like about this is. Wesley wins. I like DJ. He comes out with the glasses. Actually, looks like a fucking star. I mean, I don't. Wesley's not the worst guy in the roster, right? Don't get me wrong. He's all right in the mic, and he's a decent worker, right? But he's just not it. And I think if DJ was booked correctly, he could be. Maybe not it, but he, he could be better than Wesley. And he just seems to lose every match he's in. And for a big guy like when you start losing every match you're in, it's. It's really not a good look, but Wesley wins, guys. Uh, Tyler Bate is backstage. I hate this guy. I fucking hate him. Tyler Bate wins um, by disqualification because Dabakota came out and attacked Big Tyler Bate. So Tyler Bate wins my DQ. I hate this guy. He's just fat. He's skinny fat, whatever you want to call that. Yeah, what do you want to call that? Skinny fat? Oh, you got my money. Oh, you're just a jobber. Oh, you're just a jobber. Oh, 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 jobber. Tyler B. Oh, you're just a jobber. Oh, you got my money. Yeah, I'm feeling a wee singing mood. That's what gets me through these NXT reviews. I'm just refusing in general, to be honest. But, um, yeah. Baron Corbin, he's in the, he's in the, um, Parking lot, he's talking to Braun Breaker. Who knows what's going to happen here, guys? Who knows what's going to happen? Uh, and then we have a segment with Noam Dar. Admitting his cup was fake, Fraser then introduces his fraud alarm, which uh, stamps the screen with a big fraud in text. Dar's like, I'm sorry, brother. This is going to appear every time I tell a lie. Scooby Doo. Aye, is it, Noam? I'm the Scottish supernova man. What? Why is every person that's Scottish portrayed as a fucking a, a Wilbur man? On, yeah, like literally, like McIntyre. If they just hum back in the fact, oh, I'm for brave. No fucking. Why can't he just be a big Scottish guy that's ready to fucking batter people? Honestly. But no. 
But it's much more than that. Don't worry about that. No, no, no. Back to the break with a new vignette on uh, Berto Carrillo and Angel Garza. Oh, my grandfather. My El Padre. I mean, these guys are a bit on, like, Dora Wee TV. For, I mean, like... I mean, honestly, at this point, it's probably a bit of an eight year, probably more than eight years actually, right? And I, I just, I just do not get this in the slightest. I really, really don't. These two, like, see, like, if you've been in Dairy for eight years, like, see, back in the day, right? Like Bob, when did Bob Holly joined Dairy, like ninety three or something. Like, see, in like two thousand one or two, would they have just suddenly started talking about Bob Holly's grandfather, or would they have done that for the get go? They was fucking relevant, and I'm like, I'm just comparing like a jobber. I just don't understand this stuff. Like, see Randy Orton? You know, the, 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 the he was getting the, the talk about the fact he was Cowboy Bob Orton's son, like, for the get-go, they didn't wait till, like, 2011 and be like, ah, this guy, this guy's the man. No, they didn't do that. Um, up next, though, with Fia Hale taking on JC Jane. Um, you know, but we have Andre Chase getting involved here. He fixes the turnbuckle, but this pisses off Fia Hale and then JC Jane wins. JC Jane... Is one ugly motherfucker. Then we have Kamel Hayes. He comes out. We've got Wesley and uh, Kamel Hayes in the ring. I just don't really go. This is just, uh, just this is a load of shite. I mean, the, the best thing about it is probably Hayes quoting TLC. Don't go chasing waterfalls. Because it's the only thing and it's the same. Yeah. TLC. Tables, ladders, and chairs. Oh. You know, TLC of the 90s, RIP, my die. Anyway, yeah, he says, it won't be Mellow won't miss, it's Mellow can't miss. And then Wesley breaks the table and it's like, what? What are we doing? What are we doing, Wesley break the table? Anyway, guys, that's where his NXT is going to leave you. We wanted G-Jack to win, he didn't, but I guess we'll have to fight another day. So leave your thoughts down below. But that is it, guys, for Wrestling, signing out with the NXT review. Be back very soon. Peace.